and the Belfast country would say thank you. The cornerstone of our campaign is that our protests are peaceful and for that we also thank you. We are in a campaign together, a campaign to see our brethren return home and to have the current parades commission removed from office. It's amazing. MPs from England were with us on the 12th day. They were surprised that it wasn't the Northern Ireland Assembly installed the Prince Commission. They thought that we done it. But let me remind her, it was their Secretary of State who imposed this Prince Commission on us. Over the coming days, there is hope that we will be in a position to announce details of how we intend to make sure these objectives remain at the forefront and the forthcoming has talks. We will not go away or stop campaigning until our objectives are met. There are opportunities for all politicians, bonds and other communities and other lodges to show their support for this campaign. The Secretary of State is on this morning on the radio bleating about the cost. She could have avoided the cost if she had overruled the Prates Commission's ruling and she had a part to do it. This struggle is not one that will advance by internal squabbling or point scoring. I certainly wouldn't, but wouldn't be won by violence. And it would be won by politics and the Protestant Unionist loyalist people standing together. The better we stand, the better we fall. We have been told to take example and be inspired by the example of Londonderry. That's exactly what we are doing. Showing the same spirit and determination as displayed by the apprentice boys. And what was their cry? No surrender! As a little boy, I learned a hymn. I'm going to read the words out to you. I think it's very appropriate. Lord, while for all mankind we pray in every clime and coast, O oh, hear us for our native land, the land we love the most. Our fathers' sepulchres are here, and here our kindred dwell. Our children too. How should we love another land? so well. Unite us in the secret love of knowledge, truth and thee. And let our hills and valleys shout the songs of liberty. Lord of the nation, thus to thee our country we command. Be thou her before and her trust. He ever be our lasting friend. Remember, keep it peaceful, keep it focused, keep united. And again, thank you for your your attendance and please disperse after the singing of the national anthem. We understand the bonds feeling they will not play the national anthem until they go up to our join and to agony. However, as loyal citizens of this United Kingdom, and I remind you 
that in my view, this is the oldest part of the United Kingdom. I debate with anybody to say it's not. But may I say, God save the Queen. Queen God. Thank you.